Andrew, uh, you're up first. Yes. Hi, Euron. Hi. Um, so you talked about how Jordan Peterson is going to be doing a series on the Bible. Um, well, he's already done one. I think he's resur- he's doing another one. Okay. Okay. So I was wondering, I, I know you'd have to kind of prepare this, like if you were really going to do it, but what is your moral take from the story of Abraham nearly killing Isaac at the commandment of God versus what you think uh, uh, Jordan Peterson's morale would be? Well, I don't need to prepare to tell you what mine is. I mean, this is one of the straightforward and simple, and I've talked about it in the past. I, I, I struggle to remember what Jordan Peterson said exactly about this, but he had some cockamamie uh, uh, roundabout excuse for God and for Abraham. I mean, my view is this is exactly what uh, a, a morality of authoritarianism means. This is this is what it means to say the good is that which God says the good is. And you must be good, which means you must obey. You must do what God says. You must not question. You are nothing in the face of God, and therefore you must obey. You don't know his big plans. You don't know what the cause is. And Abraham, Abraham is the one figure the Jews, Christians, and Muslims all, you know, uh, all admire, all uh, uh, view as, as a, as a, as a, as a, uh, in a saintly way. And that's because he is the ultimate in obedience. He's also the father of the monotheistic religions, but he's also obedient. So this story plays a huge role for them. Uh, he has struggled to, to get a, to have a son. Um, you know, he, he he didn't have children until he was very, very old. Indeed, it's a miracle in the Bible that he has a, a son because his wife, I think, when she gives birth, is in her mid, late 50s, maybe. Uh, so it's considered a miracle. Uh, maybe she's even in her 60s. He's in her 60s or 70s. So he's, he, this was really hard to have a son. And now he's got a son. Wow. I mean, this is amazing. And the son has grown up. And he's now, I guess, a teenager or something. Like, maybe he's not a teenager. Whatever, whatever he is in the Bible at this point. And God says, go kill him. No reason given, no justification given, because no justification or reason is needed. Epistemologically, religion relies on the word of God. Truth is the word of God. Morality, goodness, is what God says it is, the word of God. There's nothing else. Uh, so, uh, you know, I think that's my interpretation is this is, it's one of the most evil stories ever. Yes, yeah. at the very last minute, uh, God prevents, I mean, the, what is it? An angel comes down and prevents Abraham from actually killing his son. Isn't that nice? Um, but the message is clear. You should be willing to. And, you know, there, there are some, I've heard people say, well, Abraham really knew God and wouldn't, wouldn't get him, have him go through with it. No, he doesn't know that. God is a relatively new God. Uh, this is not a God that has a big tradition. Uh, this is a God that Abraham discovered, made up, discovered. This is God that revealed himself to Abraham for the first time in human history. God, Abraham doesn't know what God's intentions are, and I don't think he has the pretense of it. So no, this is not a case where Abraham knew everything would be okay. Now, maybe he knew everything would be okay in some broad metaphysical sense. Now, I don't know. I don't remember. He gets really close, doesn't he, Your own? Like he, What's that? He gets really close to killing. Oh, yeah. The knife so, is up and it's heading towards the heart. And the hand and a hand reaches out and stops him. He's killing him. He's, he's ready to do it. He's, he's going to do it, right? Um. I know Abraham's not a saint for Christians, but he's one of the great founding of monotheistic religion. Everybody admires Abraham because Christianity, Islam, and Judaism are all religions of faith, which means they're all religions of the word, the word of God. And you do what God tells you to do. Uh, you know, the, 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 the most um, explicit expression of this other than this is the book of Job, which is an explicit you know, don't question God. You don't ask God questions. You don't ask for reasons. 
you just don't question God. God has his reasons. You just shut up and follow. Um, so uh, the, um, you know, so this is, you know, Jordan Peterson might have another interpretation. He, he could say, this is the beginning of the end of human sacrifice. God stops him by stopping him. He's sending a message. Human sacrifice is no longer accepted. Remember pre-monotheism with a lot of these uh, cultish religions, there was a lot of human sacrifice. This is the end of human sacrifice. Uh, you know, uh, he, could, he, he would probably say this is a, a test of faith and, and uh, you know, Abraham passes, good for him. And I say, this is one of the most evil stories ever. Abraham is an evil son of a bitch for doing this. Um, if, and I've said this before, if God came to me and said, go kill your son, I would say, go to hell mm. to God, right? And um, I don't know how far that would get me, probably not very far, but um, I, you know, it's just unthinkable. It's just unthinkable. Yes, it's a ghastly story. Yep, yep. Thank you. <laughs>